guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I have got another Planet Zoo video for you. And this one is my first ever video using the new Planet Zoo African DLC. So I'm super excited to share it with you. I have to say I am in love with the new pack. I love all of the objects and animals that came with it. And I've taken three days off from work to build as many habitats as I possibly can in that time whilst it's still new. And I'll be posting the videos quite soon after each other which is something I'm not often able to do on my channel. Recently I've been getting into the groove of being able to post at least one video per week at the moment so that's kind of my schedule. If that ends up being too much work for me long term then I might scale it back a tiny bit but at the minute it seems like quite a good balance. So today the habitat I am building in this video is obviously a rhino enclosure or more specifically the southern white rhino that came with the African DLC and the zoo that I'm building in is my contemporary African grassland sandbox mode zoo called Anami Zoo. So in case you're interested, I currently have two videos on my channel at the moment for this zoo, one for the entrance building and one for a restaurant building, which also has a gift shop and a Gemsbok enclosure next to it as well. So you'll be able to see what that kind of looks like in the background as my camera rotates as I'm building this. That'll give you a bit of a taste. So in case you wanna go and check it out, I will link the videos in the description box below and tag them in this video as well so you can go and see them there. I've also posted all of my blueprints for all of my builds I believe <laughs> on my Steam Workshop account so I will link the ones from this video in the description box below and yeah if you're interested in going and downloading the other blueprints then they are all linked in the video descriptions for the videos that they feature in. And this build definitely does match the general look and feel of a Nami Zoo which as I said is a contemporary zoo and it's got a lot of white and light timber architecture. Obviously it's an African zoo as well so I'm only including African animals in this zoo which means that a lot of the new animals or all of the new animals from the African DLC will fit in quite nicely and the builds that I'll be making over the next few days for the animals in the new pack will be within a Nami Zoo so stay tuned in case you want to see more from this zoo. I haven't planned them out specifically where they're all going to go. I had a clear idea in my head of where I wanted the rhino enclosure to be because I felt like it was a good animal to have quite early on in a zoo because it's not it's not like the main event is it at a zoo but it's still quite a popular animal that could be placed quite centrally and could be quite a good signpost for this central area that, that's kind of in front of the main entrance way so yeah I thought that was a nice one to do first plus I also had a good idea of what I wanted the indoor area to look like. I based it on a zoo that I went to not too long ago. I think it might have been Chester Zoo but I go to a lot of zoos so it could easily have been a number of other zoos. But yeah Chester Zoo here in the UK. I remember the interior of the rhino building quite well because there was a really really huge rhino in the interior that I thought was super impressive because I was able to get really really close to it and I liked the design of the interior that sort of enabled you to do that but yeah the interior had loads of these metal bar fences and separated areas I think so the keepers could close off certain areas whilst they cleaned them out or took care of the rhinos but that was basically the general design for this build so you'll see that in a minute that's how I kind of separate out the interior and that's what's inspired a lot of the sort of metal fenced areas in the interior and exterior of this build as well but yeah like I said I don't really know where I'm gonna fit in the other animals just yet I had an idea that I wanted to make a nocturnal house for the fennec fox because I think that's like a nocturnal ish animal because they live in the desert and a lot of desert animals are more active at night so that they kind of avoid the, the heat and you know hide away during the day when the sun is scorching and then they come out when it's a bit cooler at night so I thought about creating a nocturnal house for the fennec foxes and aardvarks as well but I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet I just had that idea and then I thought that the meerkats could be quite central because I have in my head like this vision of like your typical meerkat enclosure which is kind of circular and you can yeah so you can walk all the way around it and in the middle it's got this sort of mound of burrows with loads of different tunnels that they can sort of burrow into and, and levels that they can perch on so yeah that's all I've thought about 
out so far so we'll see how it goes I'll keep you posted obviously with my next few videos but in terms of my opinions of the animals that came with this new pack I am super super happy with all of them like I said in my last video I would have loved a serval to have been included as they are probably my favorite big cat and also they are currently missing from the game which is sad for me so it would have been nice to have that balance with a big cat in the pack because we've got quite a lot of small animals we obviously got the rhinos but we did already have the Indian rhinos in the game which you know I'm not upset about us getting different types of rhinos I mean I love the variety but just that addition of that exciting big cat would have been like the perfect balance in my head but I'm still really really happy with the animals that we did get obviously meerkats were included and to me they are the obvious addition they were definitely needed in the game we've not had them and I felt like that they probably should have been a base game animal because to me a zoo definitely isn't complete without a meerkat they are yeah, definitely a zoo staple so I'm really glad that we got meerkats and fennec foxes as well they are one of my favorite zoo animals if not my overall favorite animal I've got a couple that are sort of fighting the first place I love red pandas they're one of my favorite things to see in a zoo fennec foxes as well are up there and in terms of just general favorite animals I also love rabbits and horses at the minute I am very much into horses I've just started horse riding so yeah they're now one of my favorite animals but yeah I'm super excited to have fennec foxes added to the game because they're so cute they're so tiny and fluffy and we just are lacking quite a lot of those sort of medium to small sized animals I think because it's easier to build for big animals because you know smaller builds require more sort of delicate planning and detailing they might be quicker big builds usually take quite a long time like this video so sorry in advance the fact that it I think the video is like like half an hour long so I'm sorry about that usually I try and make my videos sort of roughly in the 20 minute margin I know Planet Zoo fans tend to be used to slightly more longer videos because Planet Zoo takes quite a long time in terms of building and creating things but I know quite a lot of my subscribers are Sims fans so I'm sorry in advance because in general Sims viewers tend to prefer shorter content I, I get that impression anyway I might be wrong you might love long content but <laughs> yeah sorry it's so, it took me so long to do this video I just didn't want to exclude any of the footage because as a builder I love to watch speed builds so that I can get inspiration and see how to do certain things and new techniques and I didn't want to exclude any of that process from the video because I thought someone might be interested in watching it and you can always skip ahead if you want but if it's not there then that would bother me if it, <laughs> if it wasn't there so yeah hopefully that's okay with you guys but I got a bit off track there I was talking about the animals and next up on the list was the African penguins so are these again I feel like are a zoo staple every single zoo that I've been to I think has had African penguins I'm not sure maybe it's because they're quite easy to take care of or they sort of suit the climate of the UK maybe because like king penguins or other kinds of penguins might prefer colder climates I'm not entirely sure or maybe African penguins just have a better breeding program or something like that I'm not sure but for whatever reason African penguins are very popular in zoos so I'm really really happy that we got them in Planet Zoo and obviously last but not least we also got the scarab beetle <laughs> otherwise known as the dung beetle so this was a nice exhibit animal that we got I'm never really that fussed about exhibit animals to be honest with you because yeah you can only do so much with them I very rarely add them <laughs> to my zoos just because I never think to and also I'm not really that much of a fan of scaly reptile-y type animals which is usually what all of the exhibit animals are which is a shame I, I should probably have better representation on my channel shouldn't I but <laughs> I just prefer the mammals uh, to me they're much cuter so sorry about that yeah no but I'm happy to have the scarab beetle so I plan to make habitats for at least the fennec fox and the meerkat over the next few days because they're my favourite animals from the pack I think and um, possibly the penguins too but we'll see how much I'm able to get done because like I said I've taken a couple of days off but it actually takes a huge amount of time to do a planet zoo speed build and edit all the footage and stuff like that so hopefully I'll be able to get a lot done because like I say the meerkats and the fennec foxes will only require small builds or 
small enclosures so that will be a little bit quicker so that will be good but yeah we'll see so keep an eye out for those two animals at least on my channel if you're interested if you're new to my channel feel free to consider subscribing you are definitely very welcome here I post regular Planet Zoo content on my channel but I also play The Sims 4 as well my current zoos that I've got on the go on my channel I've, well I've got a couple of individual enclosures sandbox mode enclosures that I've just built for no specific zoo in mind but on my current zoos that I've got on the go that I'm building for is obviously this zoo Anami Zoo which like I said is a contemporary African grassland zoo and then I've also got a Canadian style zoo on the go as well and I haven't got very many videos for that but I definitely will be getting back into that probably later on I'm, I'm pretty excited to be playing with all this African content so I'm going to be playing with Anami Zoo for a while as yet I think because I, yeah I'm, I'm feeling really inspired and enjoying it quite a lot and in terms of Sims content basically I am a huge animal nerd I love animals and most of my Sims content is relating to animals in some way so for example I've got a lot of farm builds or like stable builds I did like a high budget equestrian build not too long ago and I've also got an animal rescue let's play in the sims 4 on my channel as well so in case you're an animal lover and that's why you're here then feel free to go and take a look at that if that's something that interests you but if not I won't take offense I promise <laughs> but yeah back to the new DLC and the items that came in the new DLC so the building items most of them were flexi colour off grid pieces which I'm really really happy to see and most of the items in this build were flexi colour and off grid too although not a lot of them were from the new pack I must say but I did use a lot of plaster items I think they were base game plaster items and I know we got a load of new plaster items with the new pack so that's something I'm really really happy about we obviously just got like a whole new load of different shapes most of which suit that kind of north african architectural style style that I think the pack was sort of themed around which looks really pretty but yeah it, it doesn't necessarily suit this zoo so I, that's why I haven't used most of them I think they're quite specific to that North African style and not all of them some of them are quite flexible. I think we also got some one-way glass items with the new pack it was either the new pack or it was with the free update that came at the same time as the new pack because I know they're obviously new to the game but whether or not you have to pay for them I can't can't remember so I'm sorry about that but up until now we've obviously had one-way glass barriers so we could use the barrier function for animal enclosures and the one-way glass would basically be a really, really good feature for shy animals because it would mean that animals wouldn't be able to see the guests but the guests could see them so it's really, really handy that we've got them in build items now meaning that we can do a lot more different types of builds and I'm thinking in particular they will come in handy for the nocturnal house that I mentioned earlier that I'm thinking of doing for the fennec foxes and the aardvarks so yeah I'm really really happy to get those and then in general we got a whole load of new fencing items and I think they were definitely in the base game update so not in the pack but in the like I said in the base game update we got a ton of new fencing items which I'm so happy about because we definitely need needed them so I think we got loads of like individual wire fencing items that you could add borders to yourself they didn't necessarily have all of the borders there to begin with so definitely very flexible very customizable loads of different shapes and sizes as well which is really handy as always and yeah we also got some options with borders added to them as well so that's always good and I used I think I used some of the new fencing items in the indoor bit of the enclosure in this build so the bits that fence off all of the flowers towards the side I think they're new fencing items just in case you were interested yeah I haven't talked much about the build itself yet which is surprising because it was an absolute huge build and it took me ages to get done and I kept going back and changing things and I edited a lot out but obviously I still had to leave quite a lot in so I'm sorry about that if it's quite a long video but there were a few things that I was struggling with first up I wanted to add some signposts that's not something 
something I've ever done in a zoo before, but I see a lot of other players do it, just putting around your zoo signposts to different enclosures that are coming up. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do very much as of yet because I've not got very many enclosures in the zoo at the minute. I've just got two enclosures, but I figured I would try and make a general one that I could then add animal names to and change depending on how the zoo took form. But yeah, I, I had a go and then I cut out the footage because nothing really looked right. So yeah, I've not got any signposts yet, but I'm gonna do a bit of digging and maybe look for inspiration in different videos and maybe on the Steam Workshop as well and see if I can get any ideas for that. I also really, really struggled with education boards. I cut out the footage so you won't see the process, but I played around with the new education boards that we got in the free update. So just the different types of screens or monitors that we got basically that you can customize with all of the different types of education, whether that's exhibit animal education or the general education that we have in base game. And yeah, I was really, really struggling because I wanted to put the general education signs on these boards, but they weren't fitting. Like, because I'm pretty sure that the images are tall, if that makes sense. So there's different settings that you can have, like for the different type of, of images. And I'm pretty sure that they are tall. Um, and I was using what I thought was a tall education board, but it wasn't fitting to it. And I swear I've been able to do it before in my Clouded Leopard Habitat that I did not too long ago. I swear that I was able to add these images to the education boards and maybe I did something else. So I'll go back and have a look at that video and see if I did something stupid this time that I obviously didn't do last time. But yeah, maybe I thought that maybe that might have been like a glitch with the new update or something like that, that we're suddenly not able to do it. So I'll have a look, but that, that did just like, yeah, yeah, send a red flag to me. I was like, well, surely I should be able to do this. But yeah, it could very easily be me just being stupid. So that's not surprising if that is the case. But let me know down in the comments if you've had the same issue since the update. Or if you happen to know what I've been doing wrong, then please do let me know. But yeah, in terms of the new update then, we also got some really cool features as well. So we now have diving animations for all but one of the bears in game, I believe. I think it's just the Himalayan brown bear that doesn't have diving animations animations and just from watching other Planet Zoo content creators I think that's because they don't dive in real life. Correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's why they haven't added it but that's still really nice that we are getting updates like that for all animals in game because that was obviously a feature that got added in the aquatic pack and up until now we've apart from the crocodiles I think we had the animations added to the crocodiles upon the release of that pack but yeah up until now we've apart from that we've only had animals from that pack be able to use the diving animation so that's really good that we got the bears because yeah I feel like I remember people being quite sad about that when the polar bears came out with the arctic pack that they, they couldn't dive so yeah that's a shame but hopefully that feature will be added to more and more animals in time so yeah that's something to look forward to and then other features in the update that I'm excited about include the addition of vista points and I mentioned in my last planet zoo video that I thought this was to sort of help guide your guests where to go and it might encourage them to look at animals from a certain spot and I haven't played with it in game yet. I probably should have done for the rhino enclosure because I was thinking because I, I added a little spot, a little viewing area where guests could view the rhinos interacting with one of their enrichment items, one of their food enrichment items and I know that you can change the settings on the vista point items so that guests look or you know search for a specific item whilst they're at the vista point and I wondered whether it was possible to set it so that they're looking at an enrichment item and then they see the animal interact with the enrichment item and I wonder whether that will like affect your point system in any way whether they'll therefore be happier because they they see an interesting interaction or not I'm not sure I feel like that's going to need a bit of time to sort of settle into the game before I get to grips with it so yeah I was just it was just a thought that I had that might be a nice idea and I was watching some videos by Planet Zoo content creators that are slightly more familiar 
with Planet Coaster than I am and they sort of said that it was, I think the main feature of the Vista Points was so that guests can view areas that don't necessarily have animals in maybe. So if you create like a really pretty garden, it doesn't necessarily have any animals in it, but you still want guests to walk in and view, then maybe you could use a Vista Point and that will sort of draw in guests to that area and they'll be able to appreciate that spot that you've created for them. So I'm not actually sure how it works in terms of viewing animals or whether it's just for sort of non-animal areas or not. But yeah, just to be aware that that feature has been added to game. And also I'll mention it now because I forgot when I was talking about it earlier and I meant to, to credit her, but I used Simply Savannah's blueprint for some backstage items earlier and I tried to adapt them to make them fit in better with this zoo in particular. So I just added some like plaster objects to the shelves instead of the shelves that she used. But I felt like I should probably shout her out because yeah, I still <laughs> largely use a, a big proportion of her blueprint. So she is also a fellow Planet Zoo YouTuber. So go and check her out. I love her content. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say in relation to this video. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Obviously, like I said, I'm going to be posting a couple more videos for the different animals that came with this pack, like I mentioned earlier, especially the fennec foxes and meerkats, very least, maybe more. So yeah, keep your eyes open for those. I hope you like them. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe because it really, really does help the channel out. Every time you like, comment or subscribe, it just boosts that algorithm for these videos. So it'll mean that my videos will get suggested to more people and stuff like that. So yeah, it really does help, but no pressure, obviously. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this video, whether or not you liked it, how happy you are with the new pack, whether you're super, super excited about any animals in particular. I'd love to know what your favorite animal from the new pack is, whether it's the same as mine. And let me know if your favorite animal is a fennec fox like me too, because yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to know. I'm about to head off now, but stick around for the end because I've got some, some videos and also some screenshots of the cute little rhinos in their enclosure and also I sped up time and waited until the rhinos had a little baby and oh my god the babies are so cute for the rhinos they're so tiny compared to the the bigger rhinos so definitely definitely check those out at the end yeah I've just got some cinematic shots of the rhinos as well as some screenshots of the builds at the end as well so yes yeah, stay tuned for those <laughs> because like I say those babies the babies are the best bit aren't they that's that's all we're here for in the game not to build just to watch the babies walk around and do cute stuff they're so sweet so yeah like i say all of the blueprints and stuff are in the description box below so if you want to download the build then yeah feel free to go and check that out but i'm gonna head off now like i say stick around for the screenshots at the end but thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye guys